but you'll be on hands and knees. You have the dumbbell to one side. I'll show this from a few different angles I'm going to demonstrate before we do set one. Dumbbell is on one side. The leg closest to the dumbbell comes up. Hands a little bit wider than shoulder distance apart. Pecking bird push up, you go forward and down in this position. So forward and down, forehead toward the floor. Exhale, push up. Opposite hand reaches under. Move the dumbbell to the other side. Put that hand down, switch the leg. Leg closest to the dumbbell is up. One pecking bird push up, leg goes up. Opposite hand reaches under, pull it across. When you reach under and pull it across, you're trying to do that with as little movement side to side as you can. So you brace through the core, pull the weight across, drag it across. One minute, take your time, do what you can. Put that dumbbell on one side, that side leg goes up in three, two, one, go. One push up, reach under, move the weight to the other side, switch the leg. Leg up, one push up, forward and down. Reach under your opposite hand, pull it across. Very little extra movement. So you're gonna feel this in the front of your shoulders if you're doing the push up, going forward and down. I don't want you to bring your nose or your face right down between the hands. They're between the hands, but also a couple inches forward. We're past halfway. If you wanna make this harder, you would do two push ups in that position before you drag the weight across. Notice how your core, your abs are working when you brace. Move the dumbbell, you have to balance here. Don't set that weight too far. Sometimes you put it too far away and it's really hard to reach on the next rep. There's your beat, rest.